Hey guys, it's Darren here again, and I'm doing a, a box review of opening up a box of 1997 Pinnacle Mint. And this is, this is one of the coolest things that they did in the 1990s. These are actually cards and coins in the same pack. So when you open up a pack, you get a couple of cards in it, and you get a little tray that has a coin sitting within it and so here's here's the way that they they come and this is it's interesting that we the way they did it because they have die cut cards they for every coin in a pack there's a die cut card they don't necessarily match so you gotta it takes a while to get uh it doesn't take too long to get a set of these these tend to be about i don't think i got any doubles in this set of any of these cards so it doesn't take too long to put this together but as far as the coins go there are a, there are a ton of of doubles that you tend to get in any time that you open up one of these boxes but every pack comes with two of these cards these are their medallion cards and then one die cut card and the the coins themselves they the coins basically come in in brass and then they also have a nickel silver which i actually got one here so this is dan marino and nickel silver and then they have gold plated and then they have some some more rare ones that are numbered out of 500 numbered out of 100 not individually numbered but generally numbered and so the coins have have this um this kind of a, a back appearance that basically says quarterback club these are not numbered and they're not they don't have the year on them i don't think and so it okay it does have the year on it but they are not um oh sorry i just did a box uh i just did my 96 and it didn't have the numbers these do so it, it's been a while since i've i've looked at the 97 set but they have two different versions of the coins because they correspond to the cards i'll get to the cards in a second but the the coins have basically this is the regular player card and then this is their special insert set so so this is this is the way that the set comes the set is 30 cards which is 20 player cards and 10 special cards and the the rarity of the nickel cards are not quite one per box and the gold plated cards are more rare than that so i i did what you're in in a box you're probably going to get a nickel coin or you're going to get a silver card one or the other i actually got both uh, but it's not uncommon to get a silver and a gold as well. But it's it's just as likely for you to get either a, a silver or a gold or nothing. So it, you're probably not going to get a box and not get any of them. You're going to you should get one, but you're probably not going to get two. So getting two is is a pretty good odds. So the set itself is is composed of horizontal cards for well horizontal on one side, vertical on on the other. But horizontal cards for the players, and then at the end you have all of their minted highlights cards. And that's again that's that's the way that the the set is. Every single card has or every single pack has a checklist with basically um, contest rules for for a contest I haven't taken the time to read about and they they give they tell you the the different versions of the cards they don't tell you the rate i assume yeah on the pack they have the rates and they're they're pretty crazy there are also commemorative cards and let's see here how often are the commemorative cards okay that's 147 packs so that would be a commemorative card would probably be one every other box because this is a 24 pack box so that's that's basically how this is how this is set up the coins i got a couple of doubles but not many now what frustrates me is i've opened some of these in the past and i have 28 out of the 30 coins and because the coins are so random i ne the last two coins that i needed i was hoping to get them in this box i actually got neither of those so i didn't get anything that i needed except for this mark brunel and this Dan Marino nickel coin, even though I don't collect the the nickel and gold plated coins, because that's just that that's a level of craziness. I'm I'm not driven to getting into at this point. But these these are definitely a lot of fun to do if you if you do ever get the the opportunity. The collecting the the cards has been something I've enjoyed doing over the years. The coins not so much because they really are rare when they when they come up. But yeah, definitely if you get the chance to to work on uh, a set like this, to open up a box or to work on a set, these are some of the some of the most un uh, unusual uh, approaches to cards and types of collecting that that we have. I I love 
I love the idea of this. It's just, you know, how many boxes do I want to pour through to really try to pursue the, the parallels? So it's, it's kind of bittersweet in a way, but it's, it's, it sure is fun to do at least once. So definitely make sure that you get the chance. If you do get the chance that, that you take the opportunity to find out what one of these boxes is like. So that's basically my, my view on this. They're, they're fun. They're, they're, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble, but um, doing it once is definitely fun. So um, thank you guys for, uh, for watching.